So, you are trying to work on your AutoCAD drawings, but you are still encountering problems. I can tell you, after being an architectural student, and been working in an architectural office for many years, that there are common AutoCAD problems that architectural students are still facing. So, in today's topic of Lazy Architecture, let's show you those problems so you know exactly how to solve them. Problem number one. Printable area problem. As you can see in this drawing, the area to be printed is not showing correctly. So let me show you how to fix this once for all. First, in order to see what you are trying to print, let's fix the now colors. You'll be sure so to type help your friends OP by sharing and press this enter. Let's go here under colors, click on it, and let's change the paper background from white to either black or this other color. Click apply and click OK. As you can see now, you are differentiating the paper space here from your area to be printed. Now, to make things easier, go ahead and type OP and enter again. And this time go to display and make sure display printable area is checked. Click apply and OK. As you can see, now AutoCAD is showing you a dash line, which means uh, the area that is going to be showing on your printing. The first thing that you need to do is check if your title block has the correct dimensions for your specific sheet. So let's use the dimension command to dimension your title block. So click here and here and as you can see your title block is around 3 feet which is 36 inches so you should be fine because you wanted to print this drawing 24 by 36 so now if you type control P and change the area to 24 by 36 now make sure to select extends a scale always one to one to print or PDF your drawing to the correct scale. Center to plug, make sure that's checked. And a scale line weights also. Now if we do a preview, you can see your drawing fits nice and perfect this time. Now, you can click OK in order to print your drawing. Now, what if you want to print this drawing using a 11 by 17 sheet? Well, you'll have to first dimension here 17 inches and then grab your entire drawing using Control A and scale it using the scale command and pressing enter click once type R for reference and press enter click here here and then finally over here now you just scaled your title block and all of your information to use it in an 11 by 17 sheet all you have to do is double click to get inside your viewport and change or use a different drawing scale so let's say half inch no that's too big 116 
that works and let me arrange it and I will click outside your viewport so now if you so now you can remove your dimension now to make things easier you can click on the layout tab right click on it and choose page setup manager here click modify choose your paper size we set 11 by 17 so let's click extend center the plot scale 1 to 1 scale line weight and click OK let's close and as you can see your title block is showing outside the printing area which is the dashes showing in here so all you need to do is again select everything use control A hold shift to deselect your viewport and use the SC or scale command and press enter now we can scale here R to express reference click again here over here and then click around over here now we can move everything to be placed inside the dash area as you can see everything is inside now let me fix finally the viewport let's get inside the viewport by double click on it and let me arrange using the holding the middle mouse wheel okay we're done here so let's if we if we print now using the shortcut control P and we do a preview you can see that now you are going to print or PDF the same drawing to scale with a 11 by 17 sheet problem number two dash lines or hidden lines not showing in model space or paper space to fix this issue in model space use the system variable ms LT scale to set it either to 0 or 1 so let's try 0 and press enter now use the RE shortcut to regenerate your drawing and press enter and as you can see your dash lines are now showing in model space now to fix this in paper space let's go to paper space use the system variable PSLT scale and again set it to either 0 or 1 now regenerate your drawing and press enter problem number 3 closing drawing without saving or AutoCAD crashing when working in your drawing. To fix either of these problems, what you can do is so you can solve this by opening Windows Explorer, go to local disk, then users. Now your computer username. If you are not sure about this one, go in AutoCAD, type OP to open the Options dialog box, click here on 
automatic save file location and you'll see here the username for your computer so let's go back to Windows Explorer we know it's Irving PC now let's go to App Data Local and finally Temp and let's arrange the files by date modify by clicking on it you can see here the lazy architecto floor plan which is this one with a file extension SV and this dollar symbol so what you have to do is rename this file by changing the file extension to DWG and now if you open this drawing you have recovered your drawing successfully and this is how you save time in AutoCAD remember that you can save somebody's time too by sharing this video I'll see you here next week